This is on my robotic crane using Dynamixels and a CM 9.04 microcontroller. It can move left, right. Let's get a little more to the left. Then a little more to the right. That's fine. Then it can move forward. Backwards. Up. And down. Now it's a bit hard to control the right and left with one hand while using a phone, so I'm going to position this slightly better to uh, display the crane's functionality. So you can rotate the claw. That's not the way it want to go. There we go. Lower. See, and now I would move it slightly to the left, but can't do the input quick enough with one hand. So, let's put it like that for now. Lower a little more. Then it can grip. Then, of course, it can move backwards and forwards and right and left while carrying the object. And let's get a good view of the claw. Close. Open. Actually, it got a little pinched because that thing was so big. So, luckily, the claw size and how far you want to close is adjustable. So, now it will close further. Hold on a moment. There we go. Open. Close. All you have to do is move this around for adjustment depending on how big the object you want is. Um, it has an ice cream container that locks it into place. It's set so that um, the counterbalance is measured specifically so that as long as the trolley on the boom is between about this piece of tape and that piece of tape, it can rotate freely right to left. But when all the weight is either at this end or that end, um, this will lock in place on the ice cream container and thus not put weight on the servo beneath it. And it also makes it easy because then when the claw is really close um, holding the package, the crane doesn't wobble and when I turn it, you know, right or left, it doesn't go really fast and hit things or mess things up. So it's nice to have um, a locking condition. And here's a better view of the wiring. One more time just for fun. The crane do its thing. Close. Open. Right. Left. Forward. And backwards. And there you have it. My progress so far. I'm looking to improve it by using a potentiometer um, with the PWM servo uh, and use a closed control loop, probably a PPI controller, maybe PD or PID, whichever gives me the best results for controlling the overshoot for its right and left turns um, because it is a continual, uh, continuous rotational P PWM servo. All right. That's all.